Oh. Surely can't be time to get up already. It's just gone, what, 5.30 in the morning. You join me in the adventure bus. Uh, we travelled all the way up from Cornwall yesterday to Petersfield Rugby Club. So that can only mean one thing. We have come up for the brilliant Freedom Race in Salomon Serpent Trail 50k. But... I think I've got enough time for sort of 10 minutes more sleep and then we'll get ready and then we are going racing. So those 10 minutes seem to do me the world of good and I feel a lot more energised now. But we actually travelled up yesterday, Friday. We left nice and early from Cornwall to try and avoid the traffic. We had a pretty good trip up. It took us about six hours. A little bit of uh, traffic at Stonehenge, which you always get at summertime. But it was much better than the sort of eight and a half, nine hour slog that we had last year, that's for sure. So if you've followed the channel for a while, you'll know that I've taken on this fantastic 50k race a couple of times and filmed it. So we thought we'd try and bring you a different perspective today. So uh, I've still got the 80 miles in my legs from Endure 24, so they feel a bit heavy. Liga, unfortunately, has been a bit poorly since so he hasn't been able to get that volume of training in. So we're just going to run together. We're going to, you know, sit at the back, enjoy the race, enjoy the awesome weather we're going to have. But it would also be good to give you a sort of more detailed course review as well. So we're going to try and highlight the route in a bit more detail, uh, stop at the checkpoint, show you what's on offer because Freedom Racing really know how to put a race on. But it'd also be good to speak to other runners as we go around and, and sort of find out their story of why they've chosen to take on this epic race. So got a few more things to sort out, get my pack ready, get nutrition ready. Definitely need some uh, caffeine in my system so hopefully we can find some coffee and then we're going to be jumping on the bus at seven o'clock and heading to the start line. arrived and I managed to get some coffee well Liga got me some coffee so thanks for that so the race starts with a oh we're gonna have to scan in so the race starts with a 30 minute bus journey from the race HQ to Petworth where we are now uh, slightly different this year let me just uh, scan in thanks mate have a good one thanks man Slightly different this year, there is two start waves. So we've got this one, eight o'clock that we're on, and we've also got a 10 a.m. which uh, where all the sort of go faster boys and girls will be running, the racing snakes. They'll be on the route pushing hard. There's gonna be some pretty impressive times with weather conditions like that. Them guys, a lot of them will be going sort of sub four and a half hours, and the ones right at the front will be low three hour times on this route, which is mind blowing. And I'm sure we'll, probably see uh, some of them as we go further through the race coming flying past us but we've got what 20 minutes till the start so we're gonna have a walk around see if there's any guys that we can chat to The second Golden Trail Series race of the UK this year. We're going to go on three, two, one. So we are off on our travels along the 50k of the Serpent Trail. I've got Liga beside me rocking the flower power outfit. Um, let's get off this rutted grass and uh, on a bit more level terrain awesome yeah it's gonna be an, it's gonna be a wicked day the weather is perfect We've got blue sky a little bit of breeze so yeah it should be great out on the route and uh, like i said we're gonna run the route we're gonna try and chat to some people as we go and find out their story why they're here running this race so awesome let's get on the trails This is one of, don't, don't run the hills, Bob. Come don't on. Run them. No, walk the hills. 
<laughs> Bob's uh, one of the Cornish contingent coming up. Is this your first 50k, Bob? Yep. How yeah, are you feeling just... about it, mate? Oh, well, good on Lovely, so far. Crunch. Pleasant. So good, so... <laughs> Early day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nice bit of woodland to run, mate. A few yep. trees to uh, jump over. But so what's your plan for today then, mate? What's the... What's Survival. The Survival. <laughs> That's always a good plan to start with. So just under two miles in, I just caught back up with Liga. You've got a couple of uh, stretches in the woods there. They sort of loop you around the route, the, the woods, just to get you sort of spread out a bit. And then you burst out onto these beautiful trails. Uh, Liga, how are you feeling? Yes. Two, two miles in, top of the world. Yeah. Uh, so I'll let you into a little secret. Liga's training for this race um, has been uh, two five mile runs this week. So awesome. So we've just got to make sure that we don't get carried away running the whole thing together. We're walking all the hills and just trying to enjoy ourselves out here in the stunning countryside. So just bobbing along here, bumped into Simon. How's everything going, mate? Pretty good, mate. Feeling yeah. good now. Feeling good. Simon is a follower of the channel, so thanks for the support, mate. No worries. So, you said you watched the video, and it sort of tempted you in to do the race. Yeah, that's but, right. Um, as far as running-wise, what have you what have you done up to now? Uh, so I've topped my training off at 20 miles. Okay, yeah. So uh, along the North Downs way. Yeah, cool. So that's been my stomping ground. Yeah, and this is your first 50k? First 50k, yeah. Okay, and did you say you haven't done a marathon either? I haven't done a marathon, no. So you're going yeah. straight in, straight yeah. in at the deep end? Exactly, yeah. 50k, cut the marathon out, let's yeah. get on with it. Yeah, for awesome. me, it's, it's, it's not about the time, and I didn't no, want to be... not in your first one, I didn't mate. want to be uh, sort of bogged down with thinking about times and yeah, things yeah. like that. Road doesn't appeal to me. So no, cool. I just want to get out and, here. Uh, how long have you been running? Uh, since about 2017. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, not an awful lot. Good time. mileage in your legs, eh? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, so, awesome. Uh, awesome. Um, yeah, well. Uh, yeah, I've got watching you during lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, well, that's Working from home, I probably slipped onto YouTube a bit yeah. too many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Down a YouTube rabbit hole. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, locked indoors. Yeah. Seeing this beautiful trail on my doorstep. Yeah, okay, so you're local as well. Yeah, so. Even uh, better. I live in Godalming, so yeah, yeah. I was also around the same time when things started opening up again. Yeah. Went for a long walk down the Fernhurst Way. Yeah. Started seeing all the signs for Serpent Trail. Awesome. I thought, yeah. Yeah. Let's great sign up story, today. mate. Yeah, great story. Well, stick to the plan, mate. Thank you, mate. Nice and steady. Well, cheers for your support. And I uh, hope it goes well. Thank you, mate. Yeah, all nice best. to meet you, mate. You too. Let's take care. made it to the first checkpoint so seven miles in it's fittle work this is um, so just so i'd show you around the checkpoint show you the delights that we've got biscuits and the treats that we've got bourbon biscuits <laughs> all looking pretty good are you keen for a bourbon i love a bourbon he loves a bourbon that's good <laughs> jaffa cakes we've got chris we've got banana sorry mate Probably Tom's good. mum and dad run this checkpoint and <laughs> these flapjacks are world renowned. <laughs> uh, can, I, can, can I take one for later? Yeah. No, I'll take one for later as well. Amazing they are. Packed oh, full of goodness, yeah. super tasty. Oh. Awesome job guys, thank you very much. How are you? How's it going mate? Good so far? Very well, thank you. Good. I hope so, we're only seven miles in. Yeah, feeling quite fresh actually. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Nice we're, top. Nice we're, top. We're twins, look at us. Yeah. It's like that movie, isn't it? Twins. What is that? Arnold Sally DeVito. Yeah. Yeah. What, what are you saying? Are you? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> that is the checkpoint done. We topped up with water. We grabbed some homemade fudge, which was amazing. Yum. And I've got them little bits of flapjack for later because it is awesome flapjack. So next checkpoint is Grapham. Everybody, sir. Super buzzing, super happy out here. And of course it's looking amazing in this sunshine, but I suppose we should crack on and uh, do a bit of running.
Serpent Trail 50k takes you through some really lovely woodland, lovely heathland, but you also pop out into amazing little hamlets like this. So you just pop out and you've got these gorgeous old cottages scattered around. It's real sort of proper old school rural England out here. And you know, there's not one time on this route where you turn a corner and go, oh, it's not very nice here. Every place you turn to is stunning in a different way. You know, it's so varied out here on the route. So good to be back. Love this route. So nice to come out here and just keep everything chilled, chat to people and just soak up all these stunning views. It's gonna be a great day. Continuing the course preview, I'll just show you the marking. So um, on the post here, we've got the permanent Serpent Trail marking, but Tom also puts out these uh, Freedom Racing signs. Bit of high vis on there for the guys that are gonna be fish finishing when the sun goes down. Really well marked route, you know, no issues with navigation at all. There's either always someone around you to follow, but the signage is really good and clear. So again, if you're considering Taking on the Serpent Trail 50k as your first 50k, it is a brilliant race to do. Easily navigated with the signage. You've got um, lots of guys out here doing their first 50k, so you're surrounded by people in a similar position to you. The checkpoint's really well stocked. The signage at the checkpoints is brilliant, telling you how far you've gone, how far you've got to go. So it really is a perfect 50k for your first attempt. Uh, and again, obviously on a stunning route as well, especially when it's dry like this. Maybe not so much when it's flooded and underwater like the last time I ran it, but today it is perfect conditions. Just got to this marshland sort of section and I mean it's slightly muddy this time and there is a little bit of water but what I'll do is I'll insert a clip of when I ran through here last year because you were knee deep in water last year there was definitely no running going on through here but very different this time around. We are currently in the second checkpoint at Grafham. We're just having a peanut butter sandwich. Can we go down quite nice? Lee is munching on a banana. We've been well looked after by the crew. So we've got guys here topping up your bottles with water, topping up your bottles with orange or Coke. We've got a plethora of goodies here. Um, we're in the woods at the moment, beautiful little section. And then we're heading back down that way in a minute. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. We are off. Heading out back on the trail. So that's Gratham done. Checkpoint number two. We dibbed in, bottles full, peanut butter sandwich eaten, and uh, we're off on our way. In and out pretty quick that time. How you doing? Not bad, G. Yeah, awesome. You've got his uh, Believe and Achieve buff on it. Definitely. Looking good, mate. Looking good. How are you feeling? Not too bad. Yeah. A bit warm. Yeah, it's yeah, a bit warmer, warmer than I thought it'd be. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's got stunning, a... isn't it? It's stunning. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? On a day like today, every corner you turn around, you're like, wow, this is That's beautiful. It. That's it. And you've got to embrace it. Embrace the heat, mate. Yeah, you have. You have got to embrace it. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you get in that. <laughs> That headspace of, oh, it's so warm, it's so warm, it just gets worse, doesn't it? Yeah, just out here enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. Nice pace. Yeah, good. Took a few pictures. That's the way to do it, mate. Yeah, and living the dream. I can't remember, you've done 50k before. 
Yeah. My first 50 This is your first 50 Yeah, yeah. I, did a, I did my first trail marathon about six weeks ago. Okay, cool. And how did yeah. that go? That went well, that yeah. did, yeah, yeah really good. well. Loved it. That was around Winchester. Okay, nice. And uh, the next one is the 50, 50 mile Gower Peninsula. In okay, October. yeah, that's lovely, beautiful. So, yeah. Another stunning place another to stunning run. One. So you can see another first timer, lots of first timers out here today. Perfect. Always good to, uh, I think it's a great race for your first 50. Yeah, yeah, I think so, definitely. Yeah, right, mate. Well, we'll, nice one. we'll catch you a bit later yeah. on, yeah? Enjoy it. Yeah, go steady. Always find this section a bit weird. You're running in this beautiful forest and then you're running on soft sand underfoot. It's like being back on the Hale Towns at home and it can really sort of zap the legs, zap the energy. So again, top tip, when you get to those sandy sections, just back off that pace, take it easy. Don't burn too many calories or too much energy and save a bit for the finish line. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, all you need is a couple of anorak seats. <laughs> Doing it for the pods. Yeah. <laughs> Both feeling fresh? Yeah, not too bad, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Not long to go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of pressure than we've yeah. normally felt. Yeah, it's been yeah, all right. It's amazing it's how quick the miles go, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice to do it with someone as well. Oh, yeah, I made it Yeah, exactly. Yeah, How's the initiatives getting on? Yeah, I'm going to run back. She's only today back there. Oh, you're whipping back, aren't you? Yeah, I'll run back. Sure, I'll yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Three miles, three training miles. <laughs> well, have a good one, boys. Nice have a good one. See, See you at the home. finish line. I ain't got time to make phone calls, mate. You're supposed to be out here running. Sorry, so I guess who's just pulled up next to me? I've just bumped into my brother from another Mr. mother. Mr. Purvis. How are you doing? Loving life. Hiya. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good. You? I'll catch you up in a minute, alright, man? Everything alright? Yeah, good. Yeah? Quad to tighten up, but. Okay. Yeah. Have a little stretch now and again. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it, eh? Oh, the yeah. roots looking amazing. Where did, what's that, where did the sand come from? I know, it's bizarre. What's I just, that about? I just did a bit to camera because it always blows my mind. Where so you're running in like Middle England and you come across a, like, a little sandy beach. Yeah. It is proper random. That's Stranger. Such a mega course, though. How's your legs? Yeah, all right. Yeah, you've got good legs at the minute, yeah, yeah, they're all right. They're all right. I can't complain. Plenty of miles in. Yeah, yeah. Little hill reps. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's you know, I just don't want to tempt fate, but it's, it's all right. <laughs> So we just bumped into Rob here, and Rob's got a really interesting story. So <laughs> Rob follows the channel, really, you know, supports us great, so super appreciative. But so what happened to you, Rob, yesterday? What was going on? I got stuck in Athens. So Rob was in Athens yesterday. Yeah, Athens, that's what I said this morning when I spoke to him. Athens, and what time did you get out of Athens? Uh, I think I got back to Gatwick uh, on the road about 10 o'clock last night, something like that. And, and he's here running a 50k, and have you run 50k before? No, no. So not only was he stuck in Athens, he hasn't run a 50k before, and he still turned up and he's getting it done. We'll see. Pretty good. Oh, you <laughs> still, still got a while. Still got a while to Come go. on, where's that positivity? <laughs> no, I mean 20 miles in already, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. And you're still running strong. Still feeling all right. Yeah, no problems, mate. You'll get that. <laughs> You'll get that finish line. Don't you worry. Cheers. Have a good one, Rob. Thank you. Go steady, mate. Thank you. We'll see there you. she is. Isn't it? <sighs> we're back together so i'm just running ahead a mile or so just to catch up with a few people and have a chat but how's it going yeah all right i yeah. feel better after 20 miles job. crushed <laughs> what 11 miles to go yeah pretty like good that. yeah and from here i saw the the sort of 20 mile point you've pretty much done all the small hills there's no major hills in this route there's no big climbs a couple of short ones but again just take your time walk them from here on in, it is pretty much flat running. Nice sort of gravel, wide pathway like this. Few corn fields to run across, which is amazing. And a little bit of tarmac just as you get to the finish. Nip into the woods and you're there. So not far to go and things are going to plan. So just going past us there, we have the second wave of 50K runners. The front leaders absolutely flying. I thought they were running the 20K, but that was first and second in the 10 o'clock of the 50k, which is uh, pretty bonkers because they looked absolutely fresh as daisies. 
we've arrived at Midhurst. Checkpoint ahead of us. So 11 miles to go to the finish. So we're gonna dib in and uh, top up the bottles. Yeah, cheers guys. Just better check in. Know where we are. All done. There you go. Right, so we're gonna top the bottles up, get some calories in, and then we'll be off for the last 11 miles. Another bunch from Cornwall. Hail Runners, my first ever running club. Hello. Hi guys. Hello mate. Liga's just um, munching down a packet of ready side crisp. Always go down well. Top tip, late on in an ultra, pack of ready side crisp is always a winner. Nice and savoury, gets all that salt in. Well done guys. Right, we're going to be heading off up the trail then and Liga's going to be bringing her packet of crisps with her. Yep. Right, last 11, let's get them done. Thanks very much, Marshalls. Cheers, guys. the channel he's watched a few of our videos and we met him at registration yesterday and he came over and said that uh, he watched our top tips for running your first 50k the night before this and then uh, realized that he hasn't actually done any of them no none at all yeah but uh, <laughs> how's how's life treating you though a apart from obviously falling over eight miles to go eight miles to go I'm knackered yeah going. And nutrition's all wrong and it's your first 50k isn't it that's 50k, gonna yeah. find out. Yeah, that's Lord. it, mate. That's what you gotta do. Hello, mate. Right. Well done, Sam. Looking good, mate. Oh, I'm having, I'm having a bad time. <laughs> yeah, you look pretty good if that's a bad yeah. time. <laughs> I wish I could have a bad time. Yeah, um, yeah so. Seven hour finish, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Top seven. Not too nice. shabby, eh? First time. So, who needs top tips, you know? Me. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll use them next time, mate. Next yeah? time. Awesome, mate. Seriously. Keep on trucking, Rob. Well done, mate. We are arriving at Trotton, so this checkpoint, and then it's 10k to go from here in. Grab the chip out, scan it, top everything up. Cheers, guys. How you doing, fella? You all right? Yeah, good. Where do we scan? Oh, here we are. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Better check in. Thanks, man. How's it going? How you doing? You're right. Hey, how's it going? Right. Yeah, another, another member of the Cornish running scene yeah. up here, crewing and helping out. We got a bunch of old hail rabble over here. Let's go and have a look at the hail rabble. Oh, there they are. Hey, hello. Doing, right? Yeah, a little close up of Craig oh, topping yeah, up Lord. his bottles. I'd do more of this endurance stuff if I knew you had so much food. I know, it's amazing. Thanks, isn't it? Hey? I just said the girls, I'm not doing any I'm staying here. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a 20k buffet. Yeah. <laughs> All you can eat buffet. We've only run about three miles. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Liga. Hello. 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 Awesome job as always. Thank you. See, See you later. Yeah, thanks for See you later, guys. See you later, guys. Thanks, man. See you later. That's us done at the uh, checkpoint. Like I say, out on the last 10k. Liga's feeling a bit better now. She's starting to feel it a little bit in her legs, obviously, oh, yeah. with the lack of training. But you know, these things happen. I would definitely wouldn't advise uh, taking on a 50k after two five mile runs but she's still running she's still doing good <laughs>
the thumbs up, the thumbs up all around. Yeah, I think we've got one more checkpoint, a small checkpoint, just before the finish, sort of two miles out from the finish. I put the camera on. Sorry, what's your name again? Stu. Stu. So I put the camera on to catch Stu going off, going over the style of doom. <laughs> they've only got the gate open. That's not fair. That was the best part of your video. Yeah, I was going to say. How come <laughs> I had to climb over it last year? How are you feeling, though, Stu? Uh, I say we're finished, but I will. Yeah. Have you finish. have you done this before? Nope. Have you done 50k before? Nope. Oh, so another one of the first timers. But and, uh, I've got to blame you, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you've got to thank me, not blame me. Because <laughs> when you cross the finish line, it'll feel amazing. I will. Yeah. And then think, mm. Yeah, what can I do next? Well, you're still moving, mate. You're still yeah, running. I feel a lot better than I did a couple of miles ago now. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, that's the ups and downs yeah. of ultra running, you know? You've got you to remember that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you have a dip, you'll always have a, a nice climb out of it, oh. mate. And, and you'll get within a couple of miles and you'll have a I know, load of it. energy and you'll feel strong again. It'll be, it'll be the best feeling in the world. I'm looking forward to the last drink station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, mate. Well. Keep on chucking you. Yeah. We'll see you at the finish. Will do. Well done, Stu. A very quick marathon update. So we've just flown past marathon distance. Liga is in front. Thank you very much. Liga is in front. Still running, still crushing it. So not far to go now. And we're trying to work out the last time. Oh, oh, we got a horrible style to go over. Liga looks very fresh as she goes over it. I don't. Uh, I don't know who ever came up with the invention of a style, eh? They weren't thinking about distance runners, were they? So this is the last checkpoint of the yeah, race. We've got a oh, little look at the dog in the car. It's look at life, it. Hey? The dog's, dog's loving life, it. So loving it. Places. Thanks, guys. It thanks for everything. Be well, it's been awesome going. as always. Thank you. And thanks for watching the channel, mate. No problem at all. Thank thanks you. Thanks for the support. Oh, you're going for, going for the Jaffa cakes, are you? Jaffa cakes, eh? You're doing me a favour if you eat these. <laughs> thanks, guys. Liga's gone for the Jaffa cake just to give her that little bit of energy just to get over that finish line. But yeah, not long to go. On the sign there, 3.3 miles. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. I think we run it out, run in from here. Run home from here. We're well, not home, not to Cornwall. Uh, run to the finish, obviously. Best words we've heard all day. <laughs> there we are, turning off the road for the last time into the uh, into the woods, onto a bit of softer trail. That last little bit of road does beat your legs up a bit. But less than a mile to go, Liga. Whoop whoop. whoop. <laughs> a sigh of relief. <laughs> no. <laughs> and all of a sudden, there it is. As we pop out into Petersfield Rugby Club. Here's the finish. Well done, Liggles. Awesome running. A wicked finish, son. Go on. Go, go, go. Well done. You're done, you're amazing. Well done. Well done. Thanks, guys. Cheers, man. Know. Thanks, mate. All right, mega. So, cheers, guys. Well done. Oh, well done. You cheers, you. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I don't mind this way out. <laughs> well done. So, off the back of 80 miles at Endure 24, Liga's massive training volume of two five-mile runs. We've done it. We've made it back to the finish. That is. Freedom Racing's Serpent Trail, 50k, done.
It is the morning after the Salomon Serpent Trail. We have coffees in hand, a nice hit of caffeine. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. So we're out here. We have the finish line behind us. The guys are just starting to take it down, but we have had an epic weekend at the Serpent Trail again. Really good run out there yesterday. Body felt good. Uh, another 50K in my legs. And uh, like I said, I've got no problems this morning. And that was after running 80 miles at Endure 24 a couple of weekends ago. So good to be out on the course with Liga. Incredible effort. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but she really hasn't done a lot of training busy in life and being poorly she got a couple of five mile runs in before this race and she smashed the 50k yesterday probably the hardest she's ever had to dig in an event uh, and you know she is super tough mentally so she got through it amazing event again the marshals the support the atmosphere incredible gotta thank all the marshals obviously thank freedom race for putting the event on and so good to meet so many followers and viewers of the channel so much positivity here for the channel people coming up you know saying thanks for the content or people coming up saying they're here at the race because they saw our video and and even guys coming up and saying they started running because they started watching the the, ch the channel in lockdown then they were here running 50k so amazing stories so good to meet you all and like i said thanks for coming up it really really is appreciated so we got lots of content planned over the next few weeks and i dare say we will definitely be back uh, at the serpent trail next year running one of the distances maybe even the 100k i'd love to run the whole entire route but we're going to uh, pack up the van get things ready and then we're going to be heading back home to cornwall so uh, really hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did you know what to do hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, already tell your friends about it show your friends the video because this really is an amazing event and it would be great to see some of you guys here maybe next year but as always, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you back here very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. So it's been a day of speaking to people. So Kate is here is a massive supporter of the channel and a patron and obviously rocking the yeah, Run for Adventure kit. But yesterday she introduced me to Sarah and uh, it's been a day of speaking to people and finding out their stories and why they're here and why they're running. And I think Sarah's probably got the most inspirational story of the day. So, I think the viewers would really like to hear it. <laughs> so Sarah, what have you been up to today? I've just completed the 50k okay, ultra. Yeah. And, and let the viewers know a bit more about what's been going on in your life. And what's... Um, okay, so nearly five years ago I got diagnosed with incurable stage 4 ovarian cancer. I um, was told I had about two to five years to live. So I've had like three lots of chemo, major surgery in London. And yeah, just and you're still here and still you've just here. run your first 50k. Yeah. First 50k. Look, press is a daisy. I'm not sure about that. Oh, he look, looks pretty really good. Fall. Oh, he's going to say he had a bit, bit of a fall. fall. Well, even, even, you know, you've fallen and I still been. <laughs> you rolled around the mud. <laughs> she pushed me. Well, well done. Well done. Thank that you. Amazing. Yeah, what you've achieved is amazing. Yeah, I just want to show that um, if you're diagnosed with cancer, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stop living, you have to stop trying, you've still got a life. And yeah, yeah. Just, you know. Amazing story. You, you are an inspiration. Totally. Yeah. Well done, guys. Thank you. High five to everybody. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. YouTube. <laughs> Mate, I want to see my video somewhere on your YouTube. It needs to be edited. Well done. You've been great today. Well done, Lloyd. No, Thank well you. done, man. This man wore uh, endorphin oh, speeds races. Hello. And, uh, nutty, and he wish he hadn't. <laughs> he won't next year. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done for finishing. So, Robin, in one word, sum up your first 100k experience. Tough. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. That's better.